And now one more problem uh, to take care of is that uh, unit idle. I just made a new trigger called unit idle, um, which is going to be for this problem where if your hero runs up here and these units were ordered here 10 seconds ago, they're going to wait here if they don't find anything uh, until until they get reordered by this periodic order. So there's going to be a small gap of time there where they look like an idiot just standing there doing nothing. Um, but the good news is that Blizzard gave us an event. Uh, you can make a new event here in your unit idle trigger. Uh, for unit, unit becomes idle. So as soon as they become idle, say they say they attack, move to here, and your hero had moved just enough out of range, and the 10 seconds hasn't hasn't procced again. Um, if they become idle, we're going to order them as well. So this will prevent any sort of zerglings just sitting there for five or six seconds or however long. Um, and the reason we can't just use this all together is because when these units are created, um, even though they may appear idle and they haven't been ordered anything, um, this is not procced for some reason. So you still need to do the periodic ordering. And it's just good to have them periodically ordered in case any of them get stuck or anything like that. Um, I'd recommend that for tower defenses too. If you can find a way to periodically order your guys just as a backup so you don't have those stuck issues that a lot of Warcraft 3 uh, tower defenses had. Uh, anyways, that's a, that's another topic. But So as soon as the, any unit becomes idle, we just want to do a condition, comparison, and I press Control w on condition. Um, owner of the triggering unit is player 15, so it's we don't want to accidentally order player 1 or 2. Uh, so this will make sure that it's player 15. And then the action we want to do, actually we don't, um, we can just copy from our other thing. Copy from your periodic order and paste it in here and change order, pick unit, change it to triggering unit, which is grayed out for some reason. Um, so we want to order this unit, the triggering unit, which is the unit that became idle. We want to order it to attack targeting, blah, 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 blah. And just change this to triggering unit as well. Change the pick unit there. And the rest should be good. So that's the good thing about having this long complicated thing means that we don't have to do a lot of work. I mean, this entire AI is controlled by like six or seven actions total which is very nice for the editor, for the person making the map, to not have to be bogged down by annoying triggers. Um, and I think that's basically it, so why don't we go in game and see how this turned out. Okay, um, my guy spawned here, and we can see the zerglings. My camera was on him, which is nice. My zerglings, uh, not my zerglings, the enemy zerglings, are going to the right places. And uh, that's good. And their health is 36, so let's see if the next wave has a little bit more from the handicap. Okay, and nice, we both survived. And it's probably a good idea to meet up with your buddy here. Okay, how long did I set the waves to? I think like, oh, there we go. Yep, they're both coming for us again, and they do have a little bit more health, so the handicap thing worked. Uh, so basically, that's it. This, I mean, you have your working zombie map now. You can have whatever waves attack and uh, expand from what I did, hopefully. Uh, and I don't know. I don't know if this is the best system to do, but uh, I tested it with, uh, uh, like, I had basically like a screen full of zerglings being ordered to attack me, and every ten seconds, and uh, didn't lag at all. So hopefully it won't lag uh, with a lot of things on the screen. But you never know. Um, other than that, it's pretty much good to go here. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this tutorial. Helps a lot of people not only with this type of map, but just with triggers in general, because I know that's quite a stretch from StarCraft 1 triggers in StarCraft 2. So thanks for watching.